understand that lightly. Apologies for the previous graphic, it was wrong. It's the correct one here. We've got Team USA and Team Tajikistan in the eighth finals at lightweight. Andrew Carvajal in the blue corner from the United States. His opponent, Berus Kredit Shoda, Team Tajikistan. Urshid Zoda with the red and Carvajal with the blue. Andrew Carvajal, 23 years of age from USA, a blue belt in the Jiu Jitsu. He's active in the 2023 IMF Pan American Championships, August of this year. There he won gold as a senior men's lightweight. They're looking to replicate here at the Worlds. Also active in the Naga San Antonio Grappling Championship where he won the gold medal. Gershid Zoda though with the back control. Gershid Zoda, 22 years of age. Won silver at the, as a junior at the 2021 IMF World Championships. And at the Worlds as a junior in 2021, won silver. Got gold though at the 2021 Senior and Junior European Championships. That was in August 2021 as a junior lightweight. So, tasted some of the medals in the junior ranks. Gershin Zoda with the back control here, body triangle, looking to secure the hand underneath the chin. He's going to use the strikes to disguise the arm underneath that chin. He can switch to the rear neck and choke, or the short choke from this position here. Looking to lift the chin here of Team UFC. Team Tajikistan right in the back. Gershin Zoda. Gershin Zoda. Trolling. Nice hook there with the right leg on the back of the knee of his opponent. A lot of pressure on the neck here. Looks like it's secured. Marushka Shidzoda looking for the rear naked choke. All he's going to do is connect the hands in the short choke position or the rear naked choke position. And I think he's going to have the choke here. Pretty deep underneath. Team USA controlling now, looking for the slam. He's controlling that opposite side right arm. That's the one that Kershid Zidoda needs to put underneath the back of the hand for the short choke or in the crook of the elbow for the rear naked choke. So Andrew with some nice definitive submission defense. We're going to use the cage as well here to try and hold up Gershon Zoda, but Gershon Zoda with that cage behind him gives him the opportunity to fire off this ground and pound up through the guard. Last 10 seconds of round one. Looks like Team USA looking to ride the clock. With another slam, ends the neck. Team Tajikistan with the dominant back control in the first round here at lightweight. Two more lightweight matchups after this matchup. Then we move on to the light heavyweights for five matchups, and then on to the heavyweights for two matchups. So, still a stable of extensively good fights coming your way here for the IMF 2020, 2023 World Championships. Get ready for round two here for the lightweights. Gava Jal from Team USA in the blue. Gershon Zidzoda from Team Tajikistan in the red. Bruce Gershon Zoda 
Previously got the back control in the first round. They're going to maintain that body triangle. The uppercut changes levels. Lead entry there from Baruch. Now defense here by Andrew. We have to be the underhooks. Feels he's losing the single leg battle. He's going to try and stuff the head. Try and dig those underhooks in. Was foul to the takedown. Laces the legs immediately. That's lovely work. Bruce going to have to try and drag Andrew away from the cage here to try and then walk up to the mounted position. There he can do more decisive damage. Be in a better position to finish. to try and shake Jikitan and Marouche off of the back here. Body triangle again. The image of round one. The last minute, 25 seconds of round two. Now, due to get out of this position here, he's got to trap that leg that he's doing here. And use the hips to put pressure on that lock. He can also try and turn into his opponent. You see he's trying to turn in the body triangle. It's immensely tight, but doesn't offer the same control with regards to following the hips as the traditional hooks. He's going to try and vacate control of that right leg there if he wants to turn. Utilising the ground and pound here as well as threatens the choke. Again, See how underneath the chin, looking to keep busy here. He understands that this is an immense position of control here, scoring highly in the judges' eyes. He seems to be happy here, he's not really actively chasing for a finish. Just looking to control, leave a real stamp in the eyes of the judges. <laughs> Solid work again from Barouche. Let's see if he can get that takedown in real three. Andrew, again in this third round, got to do something decisive and completely avoid the cage. It's time for him to go for broke here and really like to look to try and finish this. If he can rock Gershon Zoda, maybe he can get that top position. But uh, comes all or nothing here for Team USA. Round three here, all to play for for Andrew. Got to pull the trigger. Got to try and put the hands on the team to Jekistan representative, Marouche Kachinzona. All by the while of being cautious of that double leg attempt. Marouche drives him back to the cage. It's exactly what Andrew needed to do, defend here and avoid. Tries to get to the feet. Gives up the back again. This is really early on in the round here, within the first minute. Marouche, an expert, maintaining this position, staying relatively active with his ability to punch and as well as threaten the choke, which will keep the ref happy.
Brackets is scheduled available here with the QR code in the top right hand corner of the screen. We're going to see the rest of the lightweight matchups today as well as the upcoming light heavyweights and heavyweight matchups here on Cage 2. Bench pressure here with the belly down. Edge trying to keep the legs free. Huge control around here for Bruges. I mean, the Edge. Looking to try and turn, looking to free the leg. Just finding it really difficult to escape this position. Team Tajikistan, immense control here from this body lock. Doing enough body shots. Ground up pound from the back to keep the ref happy. It's just one of those things here with the control from Kershid Zoda, that body triangle, Andrew. Every time he tries to get out, Get, gains an inch but gives three away. The last 30 seconds here in round three. Gonna be a pretty safe bet, I would imagine, the universe decision. Gershid Zoda. Seconds left here now between Tajikistan and Team USA. Next up, in the Team Italy, Team Bulgaria, followed by Team India and Team Angola. But a safe bet to say here that Tajikistan is going to go through Kershaw Zoda. Did a good job of controlling from the back, consistent body triangle work, ground and pound as well, smothering the American with the wrestling up against the cage to get that dominant back position. Thank you. 